My friends, I'm standing in the bedroom in which I grew up. In fact, this is the bedroom I've had since I'm 10 years old here in the apartment in Brooklyn. And the crucifix behind me was a gift that my parents gave to me when I was a teenager. And it has been above this bed ever since. You know, we've been talking about prayer. And prayer, of course, is an act of the will. It's an act of the mind. It's a self-offering. We have to decide a time. We have to be disciplined, put it into our schedule. But one of the things I want you to consider is the place where you pray. That's very important. It's a place that in many ways we need to feel comfortable in. We need to be able to relax in. But not relax so much that we may fall asleep. But where we can be comfortable in having this conversation with the Lord Jesus. Now, every place is different. This room for me is a place where I pray very easily. And this crucifix is a physical reminder of that call. So I'm going to ask you to consider where is it in your home, wherever you live, where you pray most fruitfully, where you seem more relaxed, when you can have that quiet and silence to be able to have this beautiful conversation with the Lord. And wherever that place is, place something there that's a symbol of our faith, whether it's a crucifix or a statue or holy water or whatever it may be, to mark it as a place that is meant for our friendship with the Lord Jesus to grow, a place that is different from everywhere else, a place where our prayer is at the heart of what happens there. You may need to ask your parents' permission to do that, but it's something that my parents gave to me. It's a great gift, and my parents are now gone to the glory, please God of heaven, and yet their gift is still with me. And when I'm here in Brooklyn and I pray, I always pray for them. And so I ask you to consider that. Where do you pray, and how can you decorate it, mark it off as a place where you and your Lord Jesus will come to love each other ever more deeply?